the screen resolution works out to 1080 by 2246 pixels, and apps can still stretch out the way they would on an 18 to 9 screen. There will be options to allow apps to run without the ears getting in the way, unlike Apple's demand that apps embrace it. The screen supports the full DCI-P3 color space and Asus uses artificial intelligence to automatically adjust brightness as well as color temperature, which is another Apple-inspired idea. We'll have both the Zenfone 5 and 5Z in for review as soon as they are launched in India, so stay tuned for detailed information about how apps work with the notch, how easy or difficult it is to live with and whether this is just a gimmick or genuinely adds something to the smartphone experience. The screen measures 6.2 inches but Asus claims that the phone is smaller than many models with 5.5 inch screens. That makes both the Zen Phone 5, 2018, and Zen Phone 5Z easy to hold and use. Because Android doesn't natively support the notch, yet, Asus does all the work itself through modifications to the custom Zen UI skin. There are tweaks to make one-handed operation easy, such as being able to swipe down anywhere on the home screen to pull down the notification shade. The Zenfone 5 and 5Z have extremely glossy exteriors that pick up smudges constantly, but thankfully they aren't too slippery. Both will be available in the same two colors, Midnight Blue and Meteor Silver. The build quality also feels worthy of flagship models, which means that the Zenfone 5 could be particularly appealing in its price band.